Chilio's Evolution to the Headless describes the 20 minute radical transformation from human to insect. The transformation begins in the extremities and progresses to the torso, neck, and head. Another on the growing list of 3D animated anime Netflix is offering has arrived. They've given us enjoyable shows like Ingress and Levias, but does Kagaster of an Insect Cage continue this trend? Kagaster is set in a world where humans at any given time can painfully transform into building-sized man-eating bugs, and nobody seems to understand how or why this is happening. Because of this, humans live in fear of the bugs and of each other. There are special military forces dedicated to protecting the citizens from Kagasters, as well as slightly less legal freelancers called exterminators. We follow one of these exterminators named Kido, as one day he finds a father and daughter attacked by the bugs and swears to protect the 14 year old girl until she can find her mother. Throughout its 12 episode run, Kido discovers military corruption in neighboring cities. Some people want to control the bugs for military purposes and many people die in the process. Experiments are done out of desperation and many characters are left shells of their former selves and not all of them can recover from that. The animation in 3D shows is often something I complain about simply because I prefer 2D animation and I don't think more mainstream anime style translates very well into 3D. However, Kegister tries to prove me wrong. Overall, the 3D animation looks fine and once I was a few episodes in it didn't bother me, but there are frequently times when background or side characters simply look horrible. There are also scenes, or parts of a scene which are the worst, that are 2D animated to give a character more detailed facial expression, for example. But when all three of those are put together in one episode, it really takes me out of the experience to go back and forth from 3D animated characters to a very well done 2D animated one. Speaking of being taken out of the experience, there are some cultural differences very prevalent in Kagaster that My Hero Academia fans, for example, will be very put off by. Overall, if you watch anime, you're used to these sort of things, but it personally took me out of the story and made me a little uncomfortable, and I'm not even American. So, as we all know, Americans are very strict on social norms around age and sexual activity, with Canada and practically the rest of the world being slightly more relaxed by a couple of years. But Kagaster talks about, heavily implies, directly states, and does practically everything except for explicitly show characters around or exactly the age of 14 having sex or wanting to with much older characters. We see this with Kido and some prostitute who's a total bitch to him, and then again with Kido and the 14 year old girl he's been with. Throughout the story, Kido and Illy develop a relationship that is supposed to be romantic as their two worlds are totally different and they cannot live with their current circumstances but there are moments that are very unpleasant to watch. Well, at least now I know why her name is Illy, it's the beginning of Illegal. There may also be complaints that practically every character in this show besides Illy calls the potentially transgender character Mario an old man, when Illy refers to her as Ms. Mario, so if you're sensitive to that, you'll most likely be put off by how Kagaster treats Ms. Mario as a character. Overall, Kagaster of an Insect Cage is a fun action semi-thriller with a great English cast, including Todd Haberkorn about seven or so times, but the inconsistent animation and cultural or creative differences took me out more than I would have liked, but if you're not bothered by that, I definitely recommend it as one of the better Netflix brand, hey, anime is so edgy, look at us, kind of shows. Thanks for watching. Check your screen for the 1am anime playlist and a video YouTube seems to think you'll dork out over. Or check the description for anything else you need. Well, peace weebs.